What's up, our fellow Helldivers? Welcome back to another episode of the Salt Divers Podcast Weekend Update. What's up, Dutch? You are so full of energy. What's up? What's hey, up, everybody? everybody? Here, I'm going to, uh, for the <laughs> sake of YouTube, uh, this is just a can of juice. <laughs> juice? Juice. Just juice. Just nothing juice. Nothing serious here, guys. Not but an enchilada flavor. What no. is that? That looks, that's, looks disgusting. <sighs> just juice. You should try it. Try it. No. It's good. It tastes like no, uh, no. It's like spice, like no. uh, like a Bloody Mary or something. Uh, it's Bloody Mary in a can. Hmm. That, actually, that sounds kind of good. Here we are. Here we are. All right, guys. It's a Friday night. No, it's third. No, Th it's Thursday. Thursday night. night. Thursday night at like midnight, almost eleven o'clock. Yeah, eleven o'clock. Um, we finished the mo. Yeah, we're without mo. When yes. this comes out, there better be a new mo. I think there's probably going to be one tomorrow. You think? I mean, yeah. we can't go into a weekend without an MO, right? Uh, it would not be ideal. It's not but, good. I, mean, I guess we could. I mean, I'm enjoying it because I get to go guilt-free fight bots on whatever yeah, planet I want. Yeah, how dare you. Had a great time. Yeah. Dude, that new pl the planet that's the closest to Super Earth right now that the bots are on, mm -hmm. I fucking love that planet, dude. It's pretty. That moonscape yeah. with the freaking asteroids. It's so dude, There's, there's cool. some weird ships flying around in that moon. Yeah, yeah. Did you notice that? I on did. The planets? I've there's seen some it. stuff happening. There's, what is that ship? That's yeah. not one of our destroyers. No, it's not. It's that's a cloaked the, There's something, ship. something weird going on up They've there. I've been saying that for months I now. Know. It's just a glitch. Have you seen any blue beams? I did get shot by a blue beam. Did you? I did. Fucking I A, not. I did. I dude. have not. I got shot by a blue beam. Now I'm kind of jealous. Just, I was I just randomly, I was hanging out with Bez <laughs> and and Christ. And like I was running with those guys this afternoon. And I'm I was full health, no problems. He's got zapped. And I just got freaking zapped. And I was like, what the What's that? Just boom, dead, gone. <laughs> At 100% health. And I was just like one-shotted by That's something. That's crazy. Were you, were you recording? Uh, no, I was on my laptop at home. I was on I was on the big frame screen. by frame that shit. Just, uh, yeah, I know, yeah. for real. I mean, people have done it. It's it's yeah. real. It's out there. Joel is definitely, what is wrong with my hair today? Joel is definitely out there like shooting us up and, uh, and, and like just taking us out, you know? You definitely don't have any highlights going on. No, hey, dude. Okay, D guys. I was looking at. I was watching the last episode. Tangent, real quick. Look, you look like you like. <laughs> we're highlighting your hair. <laughs> I go. That's this kinda, guy texts me. This kind of little. Eh, eh, eh. This guy yeah, texts me. Like, He's like, bro, did you put highlights in your hair? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> what kind of nineteen nineties bullshit. Know, do you dude. think this is? Put little highlights in your tips. No, Get no. little little no. little little tips in your hair. <laughs> You're out of your mind. We, All had, right. we had a guy at my old job that did that like 10 years past when you like said Like Justin Timberlake? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In sync? With, with, the, with the blonde bleach Bro, tips. It's not a good look. We're like, we call them sperm lights. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing, dude? Of course you do. You got jizz lights in your hair. What are you doing? Oh, that's gross. <laughs> he quit doing it after a while. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> that's, hey, the bring back bullying. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's healthy. Office politics. <laughs> 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 Hashtag bring back bullying. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. We do that um, a little bit. We oh, people bully us in our comments all the time. <laughs> we, we bully people in our Discord. Yeah, it's fine. You know, we have a truffle pig. A in truffle our pig. Now. Yeah, yeah. A sample pig, right? Yeah. So we, a guy who just sniffs out every sample, uh -huh. Bob. That's what he. That's what, that's he, what does. he does. He's like, I always pick up everything. He's, He's tapped out. I'll go with you. I'll find every sample on the map. <laughs> it's like a truffle pig. Uh huh. It's like okay. It's perfect. Go. <laughs> Your job. Get every. Sample. Listen, for the record, I did not change his name on Discord. No, we. I did didn't. Not. Did you? Didn't do nope. it either. So he had to have done he it. He owned it. All right, Good cool. Yeah, own that shit, man. Owned it. Good deal. Shout out to Fob Hopper. I love it. Our truffle pig. Um, <laughs> our, uh, our sample pig. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All I, right, so I, then, I kinda want to I kind of want to actually play a, a mission with him now. So I can say, go pig. Go pig. <laughs> go. You know he'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, all right, boy. guys. Take this seriously for a half a second. Uh, we do have Wait, a couple what? topics to talk seriously? about. We do. Yeah. Um, there's a couple things I want to, I want to mention. So we've gotten several comments, uh, that are, people are like, Oh my God, can we stop bitching about the same shit? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm not going to talk about nerfs. I'm not going to talk about nothing, but I do have this idea in my head where I'm like, if you're going to complain about something because you don't like it, you should in good faith, offer up a solution Okay. To sure. the problem so that you're not just sitting there go dude, dude, but dude, so dude, dude. like offer like, hey man, this is not good. Here's what I would like to see change to make it better. I think that that's my mission for this podcast is kind of put out some ideas out there into the ether. I, I don't think the developers are gonna fucking listen to the podcast, but I just want to get my I wonder if they do. 
oh, that'd be freaky. Um, I just, I want to get my ideas think, out there. They're just nerds. I think, they, they I, listen think to stuff. I think they're too busy looking at spreadsheets to, uh, to watch this podcast. Um, well, they better be looking at something. But I'm going to look her up. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to drink my juice real quick, and then I'm going to get into this. Um, how, how's, how's your play week been? How are you doing on games? Because I saw you played uh, Space um, Marines 1. Yeah. Played uh, the first Space Marines game this morning on a little short stream. Yeah, how'd it go? Oh, it went okay. Uh, there were some people in there that could tell I'd never played the game before. But even the title of the thing was First Time. Yeah. And um, I, mean, I think and I think it's a game that's kind of designed more for the controller type. You think so? Because man, my fingers were doing some pretzel gymnastics, <laughs> trying to make it do things. And there's an execute button in there that I kept forgetting to hit. And you know, there's just I'm just learning. I'm just learning. But it's definitely a fun game. So the gameplay is essentially the same as the second one, right? Would you say? In is it like I don't think that's essentially true at all. You don't think the gameplay is going to be? I mean, same? it may be similar, but there's a lot more stuff coming with this new game but sure but I mean, this is it, this it's, is just it's this game is very linear it's got like four or five well, different things campaign. you can do yeah 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 so. and the other one has a campaign as well um i'm, but I'm, what used, I'm, saying I'm is used like, to playing in the games that are like open world i can go any direction i want anytime i want to do it go yeah. find stuff to do this one you basically stay on a path and yeah. just go through the obstacles they throw at you and if you get off the path a little glowy fist comes up and says go this way mm. i'm like okay <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know a glowy fist no it's literally a, a glowy fist badge thing uh -huh. that shows up on your screen and you center it and you just kind of follow it and it'll get you back on path the reason why i brought that up is because um i've been trying to educate myself a little bit more on space marines too since we we will be covering it when it drops in september yeah, yeah. um and i do not think I, I originally had thought it was going to be a direct competitor to Helldivers 2. Mm -hmm. But upon like learning about it, watching you play the first one and kind of understanding what type of game it is, I don't think that's going to be true at all. Mm -hmm. I think it's a completely different style of game. Yeah. And I was mistaken. I thought it was like tactical shooter, squad based, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's it's more of like I a melee, melee combat like campaign shit. And then it has a PvP, mm -hmm. which is kind of like the old school it's Halo. Like it's like six modes. versus six or whatever. It's, it's it, it reminds me more of Gears of War sure. than, than anything Helldivers related. So I think there's still going to be a, a good group of people who are still just going to play Helldivers because there's really nothing new out that mm -hmm. directly competes with it. I, I think people are going to go over there there's and test it out for a while. a ton of people that are going to go play it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not saying there's not. I'm just saying there's going to be a hardcore group of people who, who are like, look, this is not a Helldivers competitor. This is a completely different style of game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll play it and have some fun. But if I want that squad-based tactical shooter feel, I'm going to go back to Helldivers. Yeah. And I, I, I'm genuinely feeling like that's probably going to be me. Because I'm watching more and more Space Marine shit. And I'm like, the more I watch it, the less interested I get in it. Because it's just not my style of game. I'm just like, eh, I'll play it with you. I'll have some fun. I'm sure we'll have a blast. I'm not saying it's not going to be a good game. I'm just saying the the that itch you that Helldivers you scratches. To expand your horizons a little bit. Fuck that. I play games to have fun. I want to have fun. I'm, I, uh, I started playing <clears throat> Senua's Sacrifice. The second one is not as good as the first one, but mm -hmm. it's still really cool. Um, but that being said. I want to get. I want to. I want to bring some topics up to you, some ideas up to you, and I want to bounce them off of you All and right. see what you think about. If they were to add these things to Helldivers two, do you think it would be beneficial? Do you think it would be something you, that you would, want my? Uh, you want my just my my, my reaction? Yeah, get, get my get my reaction from my idea. I, my ideas. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we do when I'm completely unprepared. Well, you don't have any show notes. I for some reason I couldn't share them with yeah. you, so I'm no no. Okay. But my idea is like, look, everybody is so hyper-focused on like, oh, they freaking nerfed this and they nerfed that and they, they took away this and they, they changed this. I don't like that. And the new missions are boring. Somehow it hasn't changed the way I play at all. <laughs> I'm still having a blast. <laughs> but I do think the new missions were kind of a low, low effort shit missile. Like the, mm -hmm. the, the, the Blender mission I was super yeah. excited for, but when it actually in, in game, you're like, oh, you just drop a hell bomb or an orbital. I found out today that you could just drop an orbital on it and it blows it up. Oh. So it's even easier. The, on the human... Yeah, the human blender thing. Human, and I, human and, and that's blender. that's the catalyst. That was the catalyst for this idea in my head. I'm like, yeah. this has so much fucking potential to be super, super cool. And they just were like, hell bomb it. I'm like, yeah, but we got science outposts and I have Saurons are more interesting to blow up because they actually, like if they see you, it's a threat, you know? Mm -hmm. like there's something, urgency to it. So in my head, in my crazy little head, I came up with an idea of how to create the the human blender mission and actually turn it into a primary, like, this is the mission for the entire map. Um, 
basically make it bigger first of all like this thing is tiny it's it's not big enough like make that fucking thing tower right <laughs> have, it, have it be a tower of of ground up human beings and ha- like like a spigot coming out with like hamburgers sure yeah something cool like something weird and gross <laughs> like that you know what i mean like that'd be a great idea i mean we've got um, piles of bodies Laying around yeah, randomly, laying around. yeah, exactly. Make it gross. Exactly, make it make it super gory and gross. It's yeah. supposed to be. It's a human blender. Like yeah. make it make it weird, um, but make it bigger. First of all, that's my first thing. It's like this thing is so small. It's barely bigger than a held ever. You walk past it and you're like almost as tall as it is. Okay, make that thing freaking huge. Make it like if you want to go outlandish, you can make it as big as one of those like um, those defense tower things that we have to go and save the save the uh, civvies from. Sure, um, make it big, make it huge, whatever, and then. The other thing, too, is like to make it the primary objective, I would put um, w- when you drop in, you have to get to it before a timer goes off, similar mm-hmm. to how the defense mission works. Where like uh, There should be a bunch of scientists that, 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 that are like chained. Exactly. They're like in line to get thrown into the Yes, lander. exactly. You're, and, okay. And they, and they have hulks and stuff like pointing guns. Yes. Yeah. You get it. Okay. So you have this timer. When you, when you drop in, you have so many minutes to get to it. Before the humans start dying. Let's just say you have 30. 30 humans to save. Yeah. And as the timer ticks down, once the, once it's all the way to zero, then they start dying off like, I don't know, every minute or something like that. You lose one. And each time you lose a civvy, you lose some XP. So you have to get there and you have to try to save all of them before they all get ground up. And, and then that, that's like, it, it puts urgency to it. Morbid shit. Right? It puts urgency to yeah. it. And you're like, oh shit, we got to go save them. And it's like a storm the beach of Normandy type thing where you like, you have to get into the base. You have to, you have to go in there. Once you're in, my idea is like, okay, let's so basically it's a save the save the civilians before the timer be, runs out. Before the before the blender goes off, you know, and they and they they get fed in one at a time and and they get <laughs> you know, and you could have that. Remember when the TCS mission on the Terminant side where it had like that weird like yeah yeah like have it have some kind of creepy like super loud sound. You can have you can have the sound effects <laughs> of like the humans like ah. Just going in the blender, like you could go nuts with it, make it go, super go get, crazy. Go get your 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 uh, neutral bullet just before. That <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so gross. And then uh, as you get in there, then to turn it off, I wanted. I was thinking, I'm like to make it kind of like complicated and and a little more difficult than just your average like you know up down up down whatever arrows. Use the um, that puzzle thing that you do for like the mm-hmm. the oil containers or whatever, where you have to like. Change to make sp- it more interesting, they should have like the, some kind of uh, automaton shield bubble, like we have Ooh. that are that are uh, L bombs and shit. Our orbitals can't oh. get through. Can you imagine if the we fabricator? Have to, we have to go in on. Yeah, board. yeah. Can you imagine if the fabricators had like shield bubbles to them, so you couldn't blow them up with? That'd be, that'd be pretty, <laughs> that'd be pretty dope. fucked up. That'd be pretty dope. <laughs> like leave the commando alone. It still yeah, yeah. it still blows them up from two hundred meters away, but some of them have shields. You got to get in there. It's like, damn it. Damn it. Ah, oh, fiend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Great idea. Foiled. I hate it. Um, a- but that's my idea for like the 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 blender one. I'm like, just make it way more interesting. And, mm-hmm. and this is and my goal with having these suggestions is like using assets that are already in the game. Mm-hmm. So that you know, I'm not you don't have to go and create brand new mechanics. Yeah, yeah the automatons, I mean, if we have shield bubbles that you can cover up a house with, you know, they could do it too. Just Give it an orange hue instead of a or a red. Or red. Hue yeah, make it red instead of orange or yellow. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. So like, I oh think, my god, there's an eye of Sauron over there. It's got a shield bubble. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and the other thing I would love to see, and this this was mentioned in our Discord a lot over the week, and and again, shout out to freaking our lore master Fob Hopper. Uh, he put together like a whole presentation about yeah. this shit. Um, you, but basically, you were pretty enthralled with that. I was like, I didn't have any idea this shit existed. <laughs> I had no idea. All, He's like, hey, check on, this it's out. It's all on the companion, right? It's all on the companion app. The, the companion app has all this fucking information in it. I'm like, why the hell is none of this in the actual game that yeah. I paid to play? I'm like, why? There, there's a computer terminal on the right side of your bridge, right? On the left, you have your armor and your loadout and all that shit. And on the right, there's a computer that just doesn't do anything. All you would have to do is access that computer and have a database of uh, past missions, uh, the storyline of like, hey, this is Truce, and this is what happened on Truce, and this is why we're doing this. G- give it a little bit more of a of a depth of story to these missions that were going on. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, okay, hey, there's a major order on this, on Planet X, whatever. Um, go to the terminal, read about Planet X, or you can have a voiceover or whatever. They want to really go ham on it, but have like a, a, a text that you can read and say, this planet did this. This is the history of it. Here's why we're here. 
This building was here. I mean, this is all in the companion app. It's not like, like it's not information that's not already yeah. in the game or in the in the lore of the game. It's just it's not accessible while you're playing it. And I'm like, can you imagine how much more you would care about a mission that you're going on if you could read a story behind it and be like, oh shit, yeah, this is that planet that did this and this and this. You have all these pictures, all this intel, all this shit. Mm -hmm. And as you're in there, I also want to see them include like enemy breakdowns. Especially for new <clears throat> players who are coming in who don't know where the weak spots you know are. What I hate when I'm playing a game. Reading. As I'm getting into the game and I'm really having a good time. And I have to stop and read some shit. It's optional. It's <laughs> optional. <laughs> it's like, oh. You don't have to it's do like, it. Oh, six pages of quest. Text. No, 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 no. Fuck no. you. No. It's like, that's that's not what I'm saying. Go kill 12 things. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. I'm just like, if it's there. <laughs> And it's optional. And if you want, if you're somebody like me who wants a little bit more of like, hey, man, I need to know why I'm fucking fighting on this goddamn planet again mm -hmm. for the third time. Like, have something in the game that you can actually, like, look at. And maybe it's not reading. Maybe it's a, a propaganda video on the big screen on your bridge where it's like, new major orders about this planet. Let's have all the propaganda shit about that planet on the big screen. So you get to walk in. You're hearing about it. You're like, on oh, truce, on this date, blah, 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 blah. Like, just make it involved and cool. And again, oh, none of this shit is like new. It's all assets that are already part of the lore. They're already part of the Helldivers. It's just you have to put it in the game. I think that'd be super dope. Yep. Um, another uh, thing. I'm with you there. Yeah. Another thing I'd really fucking love to see is urban landscapes. Yeah. And you've been on this one for a while. I've been on. I've been. I've been. We all do. We tooting all this one, right? Urban landscapes would be badass. I now, think we're gonna see it once we get the Super Earth. Yeah. Now I know a lot of people are expecting like, oh, I want fucking skyscrapers and I want to walk through the city of New York. You know, basically like these big tall buildings and all that shit and have the war in there. Super dope. I'm all for that. But I know that to, for them to do that, they would have to create all these new assets and and game test it, and make sure that they're you know you can damage them and all that shit. My idea, just something that I think is fairly easy to do since you already have the assets to do it mm -hmm. just put like you remember the science building where you have to drop the hell bomb and blow it up that's like the science outpost or whatever just duplicate that a whole bunch of times in a grid <laughs> yeah and just make them houses or whatever yeah and just put a street in the middle of it that would get super boring super quick well it's but it's but, ur but it's different though it's urban landscape yeah. And they don't have to do a whole lot of extra work to make it's like it happen. going through the suburbs of uh summerland or in these cookie cutter cut out Exactly. Yeah. I mean, come on. Neighborhoods. We, we live in Vegas. Every fucking house Every in the house city the is same. exactly the same. Well, same roof, same color, yeah. paint, same yeah. yard. I mean, yeah. Is it low effort? Yes. But I'm saying if they wanted to do it quick and dirty, they could $300,000 overpriced. <laughs> overpriced. <laughs> Dude, my house is not worth $500,000. <laughs> the bank thinks it is. Um, but I, I, when I was thinking about that, somebody said that, oh, that would get kind of boring. And I'm like, okay, but what? how about this then? Um, how about like a defend the city like you have this big wall that goes around a portion of the of the map, and you, and behind you is just the city, which is like just built out of these little buildings that can don't, be destroyed. Don't, don't break my wall. Don't break your wall, right? It's kind of like Helm's <laughs> my, Deep. My wall is very important. It's kind of like Helm's Deep, but you have to defend the wall, and then there's just like it's wall, it's the opposite of Normandy, my, right? You're on wall, the you're wall, on the bunker side. My wall keeps the aliens out. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah, man, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Build the fucking aliens. wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just I, this idea of like, hey man, just put a wall there, have a bunch of assets that can be destroyed, and if they're destroyed, you lose the mission. Similar to the Helm's Deep thing, yeah, yeah. And you just have wave after wave of bots come off the beach or off this thing or landing with their ships or whatever, mm -hmm. and you have to defend the wall. You have to, you know, it's a, it's a what do they call it? Tower defense. Tower defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is not new. This is not fancy. This is not crazy. All bugs just, must die. It's just shit that <laughs> you can add to the game fairly easily. That would pique people's interest a little bit more, I think. Because just, just a different type of just game something game. different. Get, like how yeah. how much do we th like we're like? Oh my god, I can't wait for a defense mission so we can do a Helm's Deep. Yeah, because we don't get to do them all the time. Yeah, last night. Yeah, so it was so fun. What do we a level ten? We we, we we should probably pivot and talk about last night's missions. Those were fun. Those were. Did you like them? Yeah, you were you you started a stream. I, like I had so many hours. technical issues, bro. I got off work two hours early last night. <laughs> and you didn't show up till 10 o'clock? Well, you know, <laughs> wife aggro. <laughs> Damn it. So this Fly, the, foiled this, again. This, this <laughs> the unbeatable boss. Okay. I thought I was getting home late enough where she'd be asleep. But she's all, oh, you want to watch TV? Mm. <laughs> is, okay. that your, is that your wife voice? Does she know that's your wife voice? No, that's just, I made that one up. <laughs> but it's like, okay. It's like I knew you were going to be on for yeah. forever, so it was fine. But uh, yeah, I went, to, uh, I went we, to midnight last night. We I logged on, and we're you know it's it's, the, it's us and the boys. 
I don't want to just try. No, just try. No, get All that right. shit out of here. Fine. And uh, um, we were yeah. like, crank it up to level ten. And I think you were just trying to annoy me at first, but you know, because you were doing eights or some shit before I got there. Yeah, seven or eights. Seven. Or and uh, let's go to level ten, Helms Deep. And I'm like, you. Mother. I was like, okay, because I play to have fun. I don't play to get stressed out before I go to sleep. I was like, <laughs> I could not sleep last right? night, bro. It was crazy. I was up till like two a.m. because like just like I'm laying in bed, just going. <laughs> <sighs> but uh, we had a good crowd. We had a good chat going. Yeah, you know, we 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 fall that we we dive into the to, to the Helms Deep mission, and we get started. We're doing well, and you disconnect like a bitch. Holy crap, bro. I had like a full system crash. Yeah, yeah. And we three manned a level 10 hell dive Helms Deep mission. And you had to watch. I couldn't watch. I didn't even see it. And it was awesome. And we won. I, all I could do <laughs> every time I would try to log back in, because the fucking social tab's still broken, god damn it. Yeah. Um, every time I would try to to join back into you guys, I could hear you because I was in your game yeah, lobby. We could hear you. But I couldn't see what anybody was doing. Yeah. I was, so I'm just hearing you guys like, oh my God, I can't believe we're fucking doing this. And I'm just like, God damn it. I was so irritated. It was really cool. It was really, yeah. it was a really fun mission. But we were able to do it again. Right? Yeah. We went, we, we played used, a we little. Did, we did like five, six more missions. Yeah. All on level 10. Yeah. And it was insane, but it was fun. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I would ever have fun playing on a level 10. You, you matched. Uh, but I was, you, match? you, you were matching kills yeah, with somebody. Yeah, I was. I was uh, doing good. I was le I actually led. Yeah. Run. Yeah. But yeah. But you know, my little experience meter is going. Oh yeah. You get back. like 15 to, yeah. or like 2000 <laughs> XP for any of those things. But uh, yeah, no, that was, that was super fun. You know, level yeah. 10s. It's all about who you're with. And yeah, 100%, we, we had a really yeah. good group and uh, yeah. And then we went back because I knew you really wanted to do a Helm's deep mission. I go, before we go to bed, <laughs> let's, let's get salty as thing, you know, cause somehow we got, we got, uh, you were in charge. I got right? put in charge when yeah. you disconnected. Cause I was the leader. And then when I, yeah. Like when my game crashed, it automatically put it on you for so, some reason. Yeah, even yeah. though I was the, the newest one there, <laughs> and um, I don't know why it chooses that. I we did why. that, and actually, when you were with us, it was actually harder than the first time we did it. Maybe it's because you have four people. Maybe it amped it up because it was four people. Well, because I, I don't know. I don't know because when we first dropped, we all had four people, and then I left yeah. mid mission. So you think it would be the same difficulty? But you know, I don't know why people were saying you know level ten. Helms Deeps are, are impossible or something. Somebody was. I heard that. a rumor that they were impossible to do, and but just, also I just got done playing a level seven bot side that felt like a level four. Yeah. Like legitimately felt like a level and four. And we played a level six bot side mission the other day or just the whole, a whole, and it felt like they were like eights or nines. It was insane. Yeah. I, I, I we it just got insane. done with a level seven. And the most difficult enemy that was on the map was a, a, a tank. Look, look at look at this. And there was no striders, and there was no like crazy spawns. It, it was like the weirdest thing. I'm like, why is this so easy? This is nuts. Look at this picture. You're gonna. I'll have to have you put this in this podcast. This is a level six. Holy <laughs> shit! That's from a level six. Those were all Whoa. those crazy new the assassin blenders. Blenders. Yeah, the blenders and the and the blends. and the um, jetpack guys. Yeah, crazy. I mean, I don't know what to do against that. There's, I, I was all my shit was gone. You know, it was like ah, oh, I just like, ran. I yeah, just ran. Well, yeah, like, yeah. That's all you can do. I mean, you you guys can't really see this picture, but there's at least a dozen of those blender bots coming after me right there behind me, and it was yeah. just it was insane. But and that's a level six. Yeah, yeah. I just did a level seven, and I had like spare time on my hands. It's like they're very <laughs> it's very inconsistent. About, it's weird how that works. Yeah, I don't understand what the what how the engine of the game decides how difficult it's going to be. But I'm just like, I'm like cruising through level sevens. Like it ain't shit. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that's not because I'm like super good at the game. It's just cause there's not that many enemies there. Like we would knock out the mission yeah. and there would be no spawns. And we'd have like a couple of minutes, like a, a two, three minute window where there'd just be nothing. It was, yeah. it was very strange. And the very other strange. thing I wanted to touch on just really quick, because uh -huh. we did it the other night when you weren't with us, and then you guys did it again last night when I wasn't there, mm -hmm. is the, the all laser all the time loadout. 
I did try it out. Super fun. Yeah, I tried it out with the guys the other night, Super and fun. holy shit, you just <laughs> melt through fuckers. Like, yeah. it's wild. Yeah. I, I took a Hulk out in like three seconds. Yeah. Because we, like, two people. Yeah, with the laser cannon. With the laser cannon. Burn. Don't cross the stream. <laughs> you, know, you did. Oh, that's what shit. we should call it. We should call it the Ghostbusters loadout. Ghostbusters loadout. Yeah, yeah, yeah Ghostbusters yeah. loadout. That'd be cool. But uh, we, had a, we had a really good time with that. We ran a couple of missions like that. Yeah. And, uh, I want to do a, I want to do a stream where where the crew we just do nothing but lasers the whole time and just you know rovers. Have you tried lasers on bug side? Does it work the same? Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Cool. We'll, we'll see. We we can try it. I mean, I, I think it's more satisfying killing a uh, automatons with lasers personally. I think it's so much more but, satisfying killing automatons. Period. <laughs> Um, but it was fun. The all the, the all lasers load out. Yeah. Good stuff. But I have I have two more um two more pitch ideas for new missions. Um okay. and this one, these can be this is actually showing some love to the bug side because I know I, I I hate fighting bugs, but I wanted to be fair. Came mm -hmm. up with some bot side missions. I'm gonna do all some right. bug side missions. Well, I got this really good idea. See, we're gonna go kidnap a baby larva bug mm -hmm. and put it in a backpack and just run around with it. That's one of my ideas. <laughs> Hear me out, though. So this is the same thing. So like similar to the blender mission, I'm like, yeah, the backpack bug mission's cool and all, but I feel like it was kind of like half-assed. <laughs> it's a low effort ship missile. It's a low effort ship missile <laughs> of a mission. Let's beef that mission up a little bit. Okay, so here's the idea. You know the um, the missions where you have to call in the pelican and it drops that like giant suitcase with the drill in it? Yeah. Okay, and it, and when you open that drill up, it just sets the bugs. That was, that was the, they just the go nuts. dark liquid black stuff it's like a it's like adjacent to that yeah 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 um my idea for that is to beef that mission up and mix that mission with the kidnap the baby mission mm -hmm. so instead of just finding some random bug somewhere and putting it in a backpack and running away with it have the mission be all about that okay you go over there you go to this 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 hive area somewhere where there's like a nest underground mm -hmm. you call in that drill <clears throat> instead of blowing it up with a with a essentially another hell bomb you drill into it and then when you drill into it, it actually extracts the larva. And then you take the canister out of that little like box drill thing, put it in your backpack, and then you have to run. But <clears throat> and then you have to extract. And it. then you have to extract with it. But the whole time, like, just like when you start the drill. So use the drill, kind of the same concept of the of the uh get the, the oil, ore sample. The, 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 sample. the ore samples. Turn so make, the, make it have like eight things it has to get through to get the, the baby larva. Exactly. Out. Yeah. <laughs> just make it fucking stupid hard. Because I mean, people want a challenge and people want cool, interesting new missions. And you can mix two different things together to make a new mission. And I'm like, well, you make already it, make it so like you have to go make it so like the larva is like a baby. Uh, like a baby charger. stalker or stalker. something. Oh, baby stalker! So you have to like go get within like twenty five yards of a stalker nest, and you can't and blow drill, it up, and you can't kill the stalker nest until after you have the. Yeah, blow. how fucked up would that be? <laughs> there you go. That's some maniacal That's shit, some right there. Crazy shit, right yeah, there. Yeah, right? yeah. That would you be can't fun. blow up the stalker nest until after you extract the larva. Yeah, and then after, but it takes I, a couple we, minutes. We just fixed your game. Yeah. We dude, people people go nuts about that shit. That would be awesome. It'd be a cool, very challenging. Very and then they're really pissed when you have that larva after you. Oh yeah, it. and they get real mad. And, and then you mama launch, after you launch a five hundred, like mama stalker comes oh, after yeah. you. You know what I mean? Like some beefed up <laughs> freaking zebra printed motherfucker. Just yeah. Kinda, <laughs> like this, this, uh, a stalker the size of a titan. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <"Rah!" laughs> like, ah! I love it. I love it. <laughs> I gotta run. All right, so yeah. that's my idea. Another one. So again, these are all assets that are already in the game. They're mm -hmm. already developed. The, the the coding's already done. Just Tweak it and make it bigger. Yeah. And, and and have us go run after it. Last one, I promise. Okay. Um, we got time. We got all time in the world. Bunker buster missions. Yeah. Now, here's here it is. Okay. So, you know how you do the buddy bunker where you have mm -hmm. to open the door with two people and it opens a yep. garage door and you go in there, but they're super small and they're like, just like you can fit like maybe one person, take one step into it and then you bounce. Make that fucking like the size of an airport hangar. Like a vault. Make a vault. Like big old right? vault down Now, there. inside the vault. Got to do some exploring. Pick your fucking poison. I don't give a shit what you put in the vault. Put put some new technology that you can extract, and then if you do enough vault missions, you get to unlock a new weapon or some shit like that. And uh, or you go in there and you're like, hey, we need to go into this vault and open up a new technology. And it and it if you do enough of them, it unlocks a new stratagem. Whatever the fuck, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Pick whatever you want to put inside that vault, but just make it fucking big. And when you make you, sure there's a lot of bugs and you have to there. turn on a computer, right? Just like you have to turn on a power station and yeah. all this other shit. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on, turn the power on, all that shit. Just like you do with like a, a nuke the mission, you know, a nuke uh, launch mission. Um, you got the SD and card. You, yeah, you only shit. got so much time to do it. Well, you, I mean, everything's on and you have a, timer. To have a And you have to have somebody like guard the entrance. Well, here's like, the thing, right? So you have the computer terminal <laughs> at the entrance. You have to unlock it. 
And then you have to have two people hit the button, opens the garage door. Inside, whether it's bots or bugs, doesn't really matter. This is this works for both. Mm -hmm. Um, inside there, you've got just a horde of enemies that are just like lying in wait, right? And and you have to fight your way in to get to whatever the technology, and you have to take it with you and you have to extract with it. Love it. Okay. I think it's a great idea. You do that. I mean, just make it and and while you're inside that bunker, obviously your stratagems aren't gonna work. So you have to have a couple of guys outside guarding the entrance so nobody goes in there after you. Mm -hmm. And also you have to be in there just using your primary to kind of get through, get their shit, and then get out. Uh, it's just, th these are just, I don't know, I'm just fucking spitballing yeah, ideas. And I'm like, idea. this would be so fucking fun, dude. And mm -hmm. it would it would be something that you could release one-off, whatever. You could just kind of work through it. And, and I think it would just kind of jazz people up about, like, there's actually new missions. Something that you can't do by yourself. Yeah. Have to have a squad. Have to have a squad. Have to have at least two people. Mm -hmm. Which is to open that big ass garage door. You have to have two yep. people. I love it. I think it's a fantastic idea. <clears throat> These, I mean, I want this game to be so fucking good because I know it has super high potential. Like mm -hmm. the potential for this game is is incredible, and I want to see it succeed, and I want to see it do better. And I hate the fact that when I They've when I log onto YouTube and I check out some of my favorite YouTube creators mm -hmm. talking about Hell Divers, it's always about the community's upset, the fucking game's broken, the devs don't understand what's wrong. They're disconnected from the player base. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, fuck, guys. Come on. It ain't that. This shit ain't that hard. We just want to have fun. Mm -hmm. Just make some new shit that's kind of fun. It doesn't have to be all at once. You could, you could pepper this shit in once in a while, you know? Problem is, is people are too impatient, and they're not going to give people them the time to fit this stuff in. I'm still fucking so, playing. Yeah. <laughs> and even though, even though September hits uh, Space Marines, you know, September 9th, I think it releases. Which, oh, by the way, that reminds me. This is not a fit. I have not asked Dutch about this yet. So if he says no, it's a fucking no. How would you feel about when we hit our 5K subscriber mark, which hopefully will be fairly soon? We're at 2,500 already. We're halfway there. Yeah. Um, we give away a free Steam game, Space Marines 2. To uh, whoever. Yeah. Yeah? Sounds good. Sounds good? Okay, it's official. Dutch says yes. Um, when we hit 5K, 500K, sorry, 500K, fuck. Yeah. Uh, when we hit 5,000... Subscribers on the YouTube channel, we will give away Space Marines 2 on Steam to whoever. We will, we will we'll do a drawing. We will set up, we'll, we'll put it like 50 bucks, 40 bucks, and we'll gift you whatever game you want. Well, we can just, yeah, we can just gift it. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll purchase the game. Or we'll and give just, you a, just gift it to him. Or 40, a game. 40 bucks in Steam credit. <laughs> Something, whatever. We'll figure it out. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so help, help us get those subscriber marks up. We're halfway there, we're at 2,500. We want to get to 5,000. Yep. Uh, so share, like, comment, do all this stuff. You know how YouTube works by we're, now. It's 2024. We're 2582. Dang. All right, cool. We're halfway there, guys. Come on. Let's go. Um, okay, but that's it. That's my pitch because I, I was tired of bitching about the game. I still play it. I still love it. I want it to grow. I want it to be better. So I wanted to put my ideas out there. And who knows? Maybe some freaking goofball developer at Arrowhead will watch this show and be like, ooh, that's a fucking good I'm idea. glad you told me about your ideas because I had to make them better. That's collaboration. <laughs> I'm all for it. All right, we got viewer comments. We These do? are yeah. I, I have got. You, I, have you picked these out? I, don't I picked have any four. Notes. I know. I'm sorry. I, I tried no to notes. share it. Look, I showed you on my phone. I was like, I tried to collaborate. Is that an old iPhone? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, probably it's like, like a, a like a 13 or something. What are we on now? I think 14, 15. I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. Who knows? All right. I got some viewer comments. I'm, I'm going to read to you. All right. And uh, I want to get your reaction about them. You, this is a, you picked these out? I picked them out. I, I thought, usually pick out the comments. I know. I, I picked them out because I thought so they were funny. They're probably not going to be very funny because you picked them out. Fucking hilarious. You ready for this? <laughs> yeah. From Gavin Free 16626 I apologize if I butchered that. Um, <clears throat> let me do a voice for this one. Oh, boy. I think Dutch is a stinky, poopy head for not caring. I will do a backflip on his coffee table for this. That's not a real comment. It's a real fucking comment. <laughs> <laughs> a stinky face poopy head? A stinky face. Uh, no, stinky poopy head for not caring about the nerf on the incendiary gun. Oh. I, stinky poopy head. I kind of care. I just don't think it's that big of a deal. <laughs> I think the over. I think I think the reaction. I, I I've been again. I've I've started to care a little bit more, <clears throat> and but but the, it was funny because the thing that made me care the most was they've changed the animation for the fire. 
it looks cheaper and shitty now. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I've seen comparisons. <laughs> Personally, when I'm playing the game, I, like, I, I don't I like catch the, that shit I like very the old, much. I like the old animation better. The old animation did yeah. look better. When I watched the comparison, I was like, oh, yeah, why did they change that? That was fucking Yeah, weird. I mean, look, I'm coming around. I, I get it. I know people want their guns to do what they want their guns to do again so, i don't and i'm think, not gonna i'm not gonna fault people for that no no not at all i, I, I don't, all i was saying was is the incendiary doesn't I mean, feel any different to me and i guess i i it's just less ran, ammo they didn't yeah. change like how it works right. they just gave you less i still it. go I, I still just destroy stuff my like my i i kind of made this point maybe i didn't articulate it very well but i don't think again i don't think people were upset about the nerfs specifically mm -hmm. i think they were upset about the reasons behind them. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense what they did. And like, why would you nerf flame on <laughs> the flame flame weaponry right before a yeah. flame war bomb Makes comes no out? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> That's but why I think I don't want to complain. No, I'm We're done. keeping a positive around here. Yeah, yeah. Positivity. Okay, here's the next one. From <sighs> these are very small. Uh Ro Rob Rob Alberto, 1583. Okay, here we go. I actually think Helldivers could be an eSports. Two teams, same map. Who can get it done quick? And side objectives are extra points. In that lens, the players have a good idea on what is working and what is not, especially at a high level. Uh, the players want more tools, toys that work. Most weapons are not good beyond level 7. That's accurate. Um, I tested out the, um, the Marksman's rifles yesterday. Fucking trash. <laughs> um, the AR are good... But when facing two groups of five devastators and no stratums, you are fucked. Run, baby, run. All right. So I like this esports idea mm -hmm. because I do think there could be. I know that the developer doesn't want this to be a PvP based game, uh -huh. which I totally understand and I respect that. It's it's not. It's a different animal. It's, it's just. It's a different animal. It's but, just speed dungeon crawling. Is what yeah. It is. Like like yeah. There can be a competitive element to it. Maybe in the future sometime. I, I'd love to see them add some kind of a like race to the objective or whatever or or like or or. Maybe set up some kind of a, a, a dual mission where like two teams go in mm -hmm. um, on their own maps and whoever gets it done fastest with the most XP wins something extra or something like that. I think it was a good idea. I thought it was cool. Could be fun. I don't yeah. know if I would be super interested in watching something like that, but it might be. It would be interesting. Yeah. Uh, here's a good one. This is from Oblivious. Uh, he's one, he's in our Discord and he he uh, watches our live streams and stuff like this. I like this one. This is a, this is an interesting one. This is gonna drum up some conversation. Did you guys hear the con the conspiracy theory of that buying war bonds, you're actually buying people trained with those weapons? When I saw this, d I didn't come up with it. It kind of made sense. So you know how every hell diver is a unique human being, uh -huh. uh, according to the lore. I disagree with that. But according to the lore, every hell diver is a different person. Okay. When you go into your ship and you purchase a war bond, you are purchasing an expert in that weaponry that comes with it. It's like, oh yeah, I want this weapon, I want this one. It comes with a soldier and now you have a bunch of soldiers that are experts in that particular type of weapon. Man, <laughs> fuck. I, I don't know. What do you want me to say? <laughs> do like, you like that idea? Uh, that makes sense? Uh, yeah? Yeah? I think we're all clones. Okay. I think it's... I, think I, it's, I don't know. This is just... This is the kind of the stuff where I just... Uh, I, I, I guess I'm just not into that look, much, the lore that much. Look, man, I think we're all yeah. clones because it doesn't make sense that you thaw some jackhole out <laughs> after I die on the yeah. planet and he drops down and he just knows exactly what he's fucking doing. Yeah. That shit don't make any sense to me. You're just like, oh, shit. Well, there's my dead body. I'm going to go pick up my shit and go. Where's up. my stuff? Where, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Fuck that. It's a clone. That dude knows who I am. He is me. We are the one. And we yeah, I'm sure you're going to get corrected. In, I know. I know that's wrong. I'm not. Right. It doesn't matter if you correct me or not. I know that's not correct. I'm just saying it makes more sense. That's all. Man, this beer is good. All right. Last one. <clears throat> this is a good one. And I hope this sparks some kind of a angry Dutch Butters, angry Dutch Butters rant. Poopy head. No, no, no. This is even better. I think you you react to this one. You Possibly. I don't know. I mean, are we <clears throat> in the comments? Oh, bummer. I watched a few of your videos and subscribed because I seem, you guys seem chill. However, <laughs> eh, put my glasses up. I think you revealed yourselves at the end of this video uh -huh. to just be that toxic gamer stereotype. Tic typical incel behavior to blame wokeness for bad writing. 
It's not bad because there's women in it. It's bad because the writing is typically just lazy and unoriginal. My lost my sub. Hey, fuck with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that comment came from a podcast where I was literally telling you how much I fucking love Senua's Sacrifice and Senua's Saga, a, a fucking beautiful, amazing video game starring a female protagonist that is fucking incredible. I didn't say shit about women or nothing like that. Nothing. None of that shit came out of either of our mouths. I didn't say nothing. Well, you you said something about ga- girls don't game, but that has nothing to do with this comment. Oh, yeah, that's just me poking the bear. Yeah, you just like poking the hive. Yeah. Fucking, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. That know. doesn't make any goddamn sense. I, I Whenever somebody uses the word incel. I love incel, alien isolation. Listen, whenever, some, whenever somebody uses the word incel in a, in a comment, <laughs> I just immediately <laughs> dismiss them. Yeah, yeah. No, they I probably don't. got pronouns in their Twitter bio. Guarantee you they Get do. The fuck out of here. Which is what, I think that's what sparked it. Because we were like, <laughs> if I have to pick my, my Space Marines oh, pronouns, yeah, yeah. I'm not playing the fucking that's, game. That was probably the comment. That's probably the comment. But I don't understand yeah. what has anything to do with women. It's like typical sorry, incel behavior. Sorry, toxic white guy here, I guess. I, you I don't know. know. I'm but married and I got a lot of kids. So <laughs> I fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I don't know what they're talking about, yeah. dude. It's just, it's just dumb fucking comment. I, I laughed when I read that. I'm like, really? It's like totally, That's what you took away this is, from this that? Is, this is what you're coming at us That's with? what you're going to come at us with? Bitch, we've been dealing with that shit for five fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, you're not you gonna, don't want to watch our other channel. <laughs> you don't, you're not going to bother me. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to step away from that shit. <laughs> yeah. I can't get away from it. But you know, Fuck. whatever. No. Nah. Make, Look, I purposefully don't get political. Make Super Earth great again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that Helldivers doesn't have a fucking rainbow cape uh, or a fucking Trump supporter cape. God, like, I don't want none God, of that yes. shit. I'm, playing, I'm trying to play a fucking game here, but guys, yeah. I, don't, I don't give a shit. Escapism. Don't put your fucking pronouns Sorry. in my video game. Fuck off. Yep. Just keep it entertaining. That's all it is. I just, I read that comment. And if uh, some Correct. stuff slips through once in a while from my comments, I'm not going to apologize. <laughs> so it is what it is. I say what I Juice. want. I make fun of people, and uh, you know. What do you say? Uh, what that other comment say last week? Where it was like you um, say whatever you want. You don't really care if it gets you in hot water. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Same. Well, that's it, man. That's so a, another forty minute podcast. Wow, made the people happy. I'm not done with my beer yet, though. So I didn't, how much? I, how much more we got to talk about? Uh, what else I, you got? Well, it's pushing midnight. I gotta go home. Go to bed. You're killing me. <laughs> I gotta go to work in the morning. <laughs> I gotta get up and do a stream. I think I might get up and do a stream in the morning. Yeah. We'll see. We'll All right. See. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the show. Really do appreciate it. We love your comments, by the way. And even if it's probably not a good idea, we do read a lot of them. <laughs> and uh, we have a blast. <laughs> the the uh, Helldivers Discord channel blowing up. Yeah. Every time I turn around, we got like freaking 20 new members, which is amazing. It's weird. We got people that think on different planes of existence than us, but yet somehow we- Somehow we all We all collaborate. get along. It's very strange. So crazy. It's weird. We have like yeah. common normal discourse amongst people who well, disagree somebody, about things. Somebody did say that our, our, like our Discord was too toxic for them and they left, and I'm well, like, well, that's, you're pretty soft then. Pretty soft. Because our Discord is pretty they, chill. They probably have soy sandwiches. <laughs> soy sandwiches. Ooh. <laughs> Gross. With chalada beer. Hey man, this shit's good. <laughs> I'm having a great time right now. <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching the channel and supporting us. Don't forget, 5,000 subscribers gets you a free copy of Space Marines 2 when it drops. So if, nope. we, if we can get there. One person. One person. That's what I said. <laughs> one person. One copy to one person of, of, of a drawing. We'll do the same thing we did with the t-shirt. Right, we'll put everybody's names in there. We'll yeah. we'll have you comment with a special emoji or whatever. You understand how this works. Yep, yep. By now, um, but yeah, the, that mile marker five k that's a big one for us. We're really trying to hit it. So please share, like, send this to your fellow hell divers. Uh, join us on Discord if you want to chat with some cool people, or if you just want to run and and play the game with some like insanely high level players. <laughs> They they apparently all hang out with us because we got some dude. We got some one hundred and fifty level players that are just nuts people getting closer to that 150 every day yeah i'm, I'm, I'm at, never gonna hit it i'm at 99 i hit that's, 99 that's today great yeah you know who did 100 already spartan spartan hit 100 already Fuck. live oh he did it streams. live well, too on one of our streams oh yeah man your rival <laughs> i gotta play more I, he's got more hours in than i do oh speaking of hours you might have stopped watching by now but check this out dude 
So last night on the stream, I'm pretty sure you can go back and check it. Mm -hmm. When I logged on on Steam, I had 600 and some odd plus hours in the game. Yeah. And then after the stream was over, I closed out and I only had 560. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I was like, when, how did I lose like 40 hours? Like, where the fuck did that go? That was, it was so strange. I don't know, man. It was very, very strange. I don't know what's going on with Steam, but I'm having all kinds of bugs. Anyway, all right, guys, that's it. Stay salty. Be a hell diver. See you later. See you next time. 